Hey everyone, welcome to this event, Data Driven Starts with Intelligent Infrastructure. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. Atos is shifting its entire IT operations across data center and multi-cloud to one cloud operating model. And the benefits are cloud experience and cloud economics for workloads that are distributed anywhere for a future that's nimble, that's climate neutral and more efficient. Please welcome my guest for this segment, Adam Lewis, the global CTO of Atos. Adam, it's great to have you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, it's great to meet you and it's a pleasure to be here today as well. So let's have a quick chat here. Atos set out to shift its entire IT operations. We're talking across data center, multi-cloud to one cloud operating model. Talk about that process, some of the challenges and expected opportunities that drove that massive change. Absolutely. So uh, Atos is an organization of over 110,000 people globally. We support clients in over 70, more than 70 countries, and we've got thousands of customers. Uh, as an organization, we have been around for many, many years. And if you trace our history back, it's over 50, depending on which part of the business we've, we've acquired along the way. So we've been part of the IT evolution for multiple in, in multiple countries and for multiple customers for a very long time. We recognized, we're listening to our customers and very, working very closely with them, that uh, the way that we've been operating our business for many years, the way that we've been serving our customers, the way that we need to deliver our services needs to shift to a new paradigm. That new paradigm needs to be built around an understanding that the, the, the data center that we've been supporting for many years is changing in nature. Uh, the, 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 the continuum around cloud isn't just around supporting core data centers, but of course, the movement to hyperscalers, public cloud, uh, maybe sovereign cloud in the future, and of course, edge clouds as well, mean that we need to do things differently. So we need to be able to service our customers in a consistent way, giving them consistent experience wherever their workloads may sit, being able to deliver for them a consistent set of operations while still delivering on those service levels that they've known us there for years. And we have to do that with the customer in mind, really helping them to enable to, to embrace our services and consume those services from a from a marketplace uh, or a set of APIs that are enabling them to get the services as and when they need them in near real time. And also for them to get uh, ability to, uh, to get real time data about the way that their services are performing so that we can continue to support them and enhance their operations. So listening to its customers to deliver consistent services and experiences is obviously key to Atos. I know that Atos works as a partner with Hitachi Ventura, but you're also a customer of its infrastructure solution. So let's focus on the customer side for a moment. Talk to us about how you've worked with Hitachi Ventura to help with that transition that you just talked about. Maybe address some of the challenges that you still expect to see in the future and some of the results that you've achieved so far. It would be a pleasure. So um, we've been working with, with Hitachi Ventara for, for many years and they support us in different types of industries, whatever the industries are, and uh, again, multiple countries around the world. And the, it started off as, as, as a really great partnership. And I think for that trusted partnership, it developed into uh, us being a, as a customer as well to be able to consume and understand where they're investing in their innovation so we don't have to. It's our job as a system integrator and an outsourcer to be able to get the, the best of technologies from whatever of our ecosystem partners we have and being able to glue those together in a way that allows us to serve our customers, as mentioned earlier, in, in the best possible way. So what we started to do with them is work in a, in a, in a much closer way, much earlier in the process, in a CTO to CTO capability. Uh, understand the emerging technologies they're investing in and embed that in as part of our core services that we're transforming. We're moving to a, uh, a model delivery framework where we need to have embedded as the foundations of those capabilities, all of the components that allow us to continue to serve our customers, but also with a view to the future. And by that we mean moving from the cloud to a multi-cloud environment, understanding what true hybrid cloud means, enabling what we'd call elasticity to be able to scale up and scale down on demand, enable things like uh, visibility of on-demand on based pricing, consumption based, while still retaining the SLAs that we've been famous for and can guarantee in those services, that consistency of service, the consistency of deliverable deliveries that um, 
that our customers expect from us. And Hitachi uh, have never let us down. And we're really pleased that we can continue this, this journey with them. I've been a partner with them for many years, but also as a, as a consumer of their services, um, we, we need to be able to have someone who moves with us. And one of the things that's really important for us as a, as a customer is our journey to net zero, and in particular areas around things like sustainability. And we know that's really high up on their agenda as well. So there's a perfect alignment from that perspective. So it sounds like it started out with a great partnership, as you mentioned, it sounds quite collaborative. So talk to me a little bit in our final question here, Adam, about how Atlas has worked with Hitachi Venture to solve issues for your customers. Maybe give us some examples of, of, of business outcomes, tactical outcomes that your joint customers are realizing. We work together to plan our own focus on the business outcomes and the value we can deliver for customers. And that doesn't matter which particular industry, but we focus on various different industries to allow us to continue to build the momentum there and to grow the capabilities and skills that we've managed to, to, to create uh, over the years, the IP that we are able to, to deliver together and the service uh, capabilities that we want to continue to build upon. One of the things around the partnership is, is to build on things like the optimized power systems that Hitachi and Ventara give us, um, where we are supporting, let's say, governments or, or, or organizations in uh, man managing buildings, managing cities, delivering infrastructure for, for railways, or providing se secure data foundations for the businesses of the future. And one of the reasons why we continue to do this is it's easy for us to train our people up in the necessary tools and technologies uh, that, that as they are, are emerging with, with Hitachi Ventara, and we continue to invest in that space and they support us, not just to, to make sure we've got the right comp competencies and capabilities of, available when we need it, but also in our joint go-to-market activities to make sure that we understand the solutions that we need to be able to push out and those industry solutions that we continue to build upon are able to be supported in the best possible way, but also continuously advanced from an innovation perspective going forward. It's definitely a journey, Adam. It sounds like it's a great collaborative, really deeply integrated partnership that Actos and Hitachi Ventura have. Thank you for talking about us, with us about the partnership as well as how it is for Actos as a customer of Hitachi Ventura and ultimately how you're, it, it, you're working together on the transition Actos has been through and helping your customers to become truly data-driven. Adam, it's been a pleasure to have you on the program today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Likewise, this is Lisa Martin on behalf of theCUBE and Hitachi Ventura. We want to thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great content coming up.